Welcome back, folks, the Let's Play Edna and Harvey The Breakout. We last we left off, we've spoken with the Keymaster. He's locked away in solitary confinement, and if there's one thing I could say but I don't trust about him, it's everything. He's very suspicious and sinister, but unfortunately the game's forcing us to work with him because he has a pretty solid plan on how to get out of here. It's a three-step plan. Step one is using the laundry lift system to get to the rest of the asylum again. Step two is gaining access to the master key so that we can make a copy of it. This will allow us to get out of this building and also to free the key master. I'm not looking forward to that part, but I bet the game's going to force us to do it. Finally, we need to gain access to a vehicle so that we can escape the asylum proper. And once we're out, we can then go and track down clues as to what actually happened with our father, so we can clear his name and uncover all of the sinister schemes that Dr. Marcel is enacting, including finding out why he's trying to erase our memory. First things first, we need to use the laundry lift to get out of here. But there are a few more places that we can explore here before we give that a go. Like this room here. This room appears to be a bathroom, and there are quite a few things that we can look at, including a light switch that we can turn on. So let's do that! Has anything else been revealed to us? The answer is no. And we can't use any of the showers, so let's look at the hose. I never wanted to be a firefighter. I was more partial to the opposing side. That doesn't surprise me. <coughs> I've got hoes. And different area codes. If that's a song, I don't know which one it is. I never wanted, I was more. Using it is the same as looking at it, but what about trying to pick it up? I never wanted to be a I was more part. Picking it up is not something we can do. Harvey, can you make the hose work? Look, Harvey. Eek! A snake! Come on! Activate the inventory! Let's catch it and leave it under Dr. Marcel's chair! I don't think that's a snake. But it's nice to know that you know that the inventory system exists. Okay, I have a plan. I'll distract the snake, you sneak up on it from behind, and while I'm pulling its tongue, you whack it on the hypothalamus! What's wrong? I don't see you doing any sneaking! I'm still figuring out where behind is. That's a good point. We have augmented the hose holder. Now it is 500% more spiffy. In this panel, we see Captain Useless buying snake oil for the boil on his behind. That probably wasn't a good idea, Captain Useless. I think you wasted some money. Okay. I have a plan. We'll put the pot holders on the floor right here. When the snake tries to put them on, you step on its hands. Well, what are you waiting for? For the punchline. There was no punchline, I'm afraid. Mustard? Excellent. It is further augmented. Now it is even more augmented! Soon it shall be the most perfect hose you've ever seen! Okay, I have a plan. We'll join the government and pass a bill that outlaws all snakes. After the law has been passed, we'll join the snake hunting task force. Then it's just a matter of beating the bushes until our snake shows itself. I don't know. I hate plant cruelty. I'm afraid I'll have to eliminate you now. You're compromising the plan. Good luck with that, Harvey. Then how are you going to get about without Edna helping you? See? You haven't thought about this plan at all. Okay, I have a plan. We'll lure the snake to the Gobi Desert. When it's about to die from thirst, we'll blot the Yangtze River near its source. As soon as the desert is flooded, we'll catch the snake with a net. I don't like it when a plan sounds too simple. Wait, that plan is too simple? I thought that plan was rather complicated, and quite impossible. Okay, I have a plan. We'll fill the pot up with glue, then we place the pot over the door frame. When the snake leaves its den to go to work, we'll jump from our hiding spot and throw confetti! Uh, okay. What was that right at the beginning again? What? You didn't take notes? 
Forget it. I think it was more that the very first part of it really didn't connect to the rest of the plan. But ah uh, well, it's not a plan we're going to be using anyway. Okay, I have a plan. We'll just put it under lock and key. You mean just like that? Why not? It could work if the key and the lock are heavy enough to hold it down. Oh, Harvey, you with the double meanings. How silly. Aha! Now the hose is completely useless. It's a good thing we weren't planning on using this for anything. Okay, I have a plan. We'll give the snake a cocktail. We'll disguise the little umbrella as fruit and the fruit as the cocktail. And when it chokes on the fruit, we'll run it over with a motorcycle. All we need now is the motorcycle. We'll need a red one. Why a red one? Is it because it goes very slightly faster? Now it's a super useless hose. Okay, I have a plan. We'll make crumpling sounds with a sheet of paper. When the snake remembers it forgot to put the recycling bin on the street and goes to do it, we'll enter its apartment behind its back and slam the door. Okay, let's go. Hmm, must be deaf. And so the plan was foiled. We've doodled on it even more. And let's doodle on it even more. Okay, that got rid of absolutely everything. Can we get everything back? No! Did we go past the doodle event horizon, which means that we can't doodle on things anymore? Oh no! All of our work, it's been undone! Whoa! Sadness and woe. Okay, I have a plan. You whack the shovel across both of our skulls so that our personalities get magically swapped. Then we'll produce a body switch comedy. When the snake cancels its cable TV to avoid it, you bring your girlish charm into play. Wait a second. I'll no longer be a human. I'll be a rabbit. Oh yeah, that's right. Forget about that plan. That was the only flaw in the plan that you could see? I could see a few more. Okay, I have a plan. We'll use the straw as a snake charming flute. When the hypnotized snake starts rattling away, we make a run for it. Even if the plan worked, we wouldn't have accomplished anything. At least we won't have lost anything. But we could also not lose anything by just walking away right now. Oh, Harvey, you and your plans. Okay, I have a plan. You distract the snake. I'll call the snake's lawyer. We'll talk about this and that. And after I hang up, I'll be so agitated that I won't be able to tell which is the bigger snake. I don't think that's actually going to help us deal with the snake. The only thing that's going to do is get you annoyed. But if you want to get annoyed, be my guest. Minor problem, the phone doesn't actually work. Okay, I have a plan. We'll just ignore the snake and eat the chips. Are you hungry, Harvey? What other reason is there to go snake hunting? I like this plan the best. It involves no snake hunting and a lot of chip eating. Okay, I have a plan. When the snake crawls up the wall, you put the glass over it. Snakes don't crawl. Patience. They slither. What about the toenail? Okay, I have a plan. You throw your toenail into the air. When the snake tries to snatch it, I'll grab it by the throat and strangle it. By the throat? Oh, I see your point. Forget it. Indeed. And finally, the coat hanger. Okay, I have a plan. We'll hook a piece of bread on the coat hanger. When the snake starts spreading marmalade on it, we'll jump out and take a bite. But we'd have fallen for our own trap. The plan isn't perfect, so what? I haven't heard any suggestions from you yet. I've got a suggestion. Look, we have now outsmarted the snake. I can imagine Harvey looking at me with a very angry expression. Let's examine the sinks and the mirrors. First thing we should do with the uh, sinks is see if we can muck them up. That's one. Wow. Looks like the shower scene in Psycho. 
that it does. Can we use this now? <sighs> we can drink water with it. That's neat. Can we mug this one up, though? We can! Triple the sink mayhem! <sighs> Let's deal with the third one. There we go. And... Didn't mean to click to uh, move you so close. There we go. <sighs> and that got partly on the mirror. Let's look at that mirror, speaking of which. You're only as crazy as you feel. Let's use some of our new items on the mirror, like the coat hanger. We wanted to hear that backwards after all. Cocktail glass. And now, the shovel. We have a few more. The straw. And... Can we use the signature? Look, Harvey, a palindrome. Indeed, it is. The phone. Off. And the chips as well. Spe we also have the cocktail menu. Wainem. And I think quite a few of these are actually new. Pinking shears. And then the signed form. And can we use this signature? That we can. I don't think we've used the knife and the fork either. Fian. Let's use the fork. Rolf. And the key? Yeah. And I think that's all of them. I don't think there's anything else we can really do here, so let's go. Maybe that room is only really used for the light switch puzzle, which leaves only one place left, the end of the hallway. And in here are a lot of beds, and only one thing that we can interact with. This bed here. And we can only interact by walking up to it, so let's do so. And here are Hotty Motty and Hotty and Motty. Let's first start by looking at Hotty and Motty together. They're like two peas in a pod. They're just quite unusual peas. And the pod is a giant jumper. I'd rather not. They outnumber me. Two to one, to be exact. I didn't bring my twin buggy, I'm afraid. It would have to be quite a big buggy. Let's talk to them. Hiya, you two. Hello. Hello and hello. Let's have some introductions first. Who are you? I'm Marty. And this is my twin brother, Hadi. We are Siamese twins. But I bet you already suspected as much. I certainly noticed that you're wearing a jumper that connects you two together. Hadi and Marty? Those are highly unusual names. Well, that's because our dad is Japanese. And our mom is of Hopi origin. But you must have suspected as much. You can tell from Hadi's almond eyes. Let's ask what they're doing here. Why are you just sitting around here? We're making sure no one steals our bed. But all the beds are the same. Ha! That's what you think. If you know what to look for, there are huge differences. It's like with Hadi and me, there are few people who can distinguish between us. But after a while, you start to recognize the differences. That is our secret twin power, so to speak. We see the differences where others just shrug their shoulders helplessly. Which brings us back to the subject of beds. On first appearance, they all look the same. But this one here is the only one with a bed sheet. That it is! Your powers of bed deduction are truly fantastic, as are your twin powers. Why are the both of you only wearing one sweater? That's a silly question. It's much too warm for wearing two. I don't think she was referring to wearing two sweaters at once. You're not Siamese twins at all. Correct. We are actually Siamese triplets. But Brody is away in Paris studying art history. Yes, he's always been the strange one. Are we ever going to encounter Brody? Probably not. I'm taking off. Will you come along? Um, no. We have the softest blanket in the whole 
whole world right here. And where, pray tell, would we go anyway? That is a good point. It's not like you can go far. See you later. Rock on. And send my regards to Lady Liberty if you see her. We shall rock on. Harvey, what do you think about Hotty and Marty? What do you think of these two, Harvey? I can barely tell them apart. Now let's see if we can use the polo mallet on them. I highly doubt it. Do you play polo? Haven't in a long time. It's not easy to find Siamese twin horses. Indeed. I'd say it's pretty much impossible. Do you need a pen? Not unless you have two. We love to play Sudoku against each other. Against each other? Yeah, but Marty cheats. I do not. He invents some random numbers. Those are Eskimo numbers. How does one play Sudoku against each other? That is a question. Would you like to read a comic book? We'd rather not. We always fight when it comes to turning the page. That makes sense. What about the potholders? Would you like my potholders? No. No. Wow, you could agree on that one. Siamese twins always agree. And they never use potholders. It's the nature of things. We prefer oven mitts. Only in pairs. That explains why you don't want the potholders, but not your unanimous decision-making process. We weren't finished yet to continue. Oven mitts come in twos. One for each hand with opposable thumbs. So there's no need to argue about who gets which. But aren't the pot holders exactly the same too? It's best not to argue with you. Do you need any mustard? No. We stopped eating in bed. If you soil the bed sheet, they take it to the laundry faster than you can see. Jack Robinson. The laundry is in the basement. Where they take weeks to clean it. Did you say weeks? Yes, I did. This one here is the last clean sheet until the beginning of winter. Winter? My, they take a long time to clean them. Do you need any ketchup? No, we stopped eating in bed. If you s- Laundry- Where- Did you- Yeah, this one- And that's the same as using the mustard. What about the badge? This is the police. Break up this assembly at once. Nice try. But we are irreversibly joined together. There is nothing criminal about the lawful assembly of Siamese twins. Indeed not, but I get the feeling at some point we're going to have to break up this union. Would you like a cup? Actually, I should save before I offer you the cup, just in case something goes terribly wrong. And it might, who knows, you might fight over the cup and destroy it. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Well, I certainly wouldn't. Then I wouldn't have a cup. But we are running out of places where we could put a cup. Hopefully we'll be able to get back to the main pile of cups soon. Would you like a cup? Would you like a filthy old paper cup? That's nice of you. But we don't use disposable products. We live in harmony with nature. Mari is even considered the inventor of the washable coffee filter. The washable coffee filter? I wonder how that works. Do you need a pot? No. We stopped eating in bed. If you saw the laundry where the Did you say Yes. This one That is the same as using the ketchup and mustard. Do you know where the key goes? Do you have any idea where this key might fit? Hmm, I suppose we could call the locksmith. And make it a conference with the information desk. But we would have to get broadband first. That shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't? Then why doesn't the place have broadband? Do you want the fork? No. We stopped eating. If you lo were Did you? Yeah. This one here. That's the same as using the uh, ketchup and mustard? I imagine my knife is going to be similar. I wonder if I could separate the two, but I don't want to hurt them. Yeah, using my knife is not a good idea in that regard. Maybe the pinking shears will work. Let's save using the pinking shears for last. Would you like to see the cocktail menu? No, thanks. The only thing on there is the stinky drink anyway. And a hand-drawn map to the nearest toilet. I didn't know there was a hand-drawn map. How handy! Do you want to go to therapy? I've got an appointment. Not today. 
There's a group session for game designers scheduled for today. Those can take ages. That they can. I think it's going on even now. I can forge Dr. Marcel's signature. I don't blame you. Everyone needs a hobby. Hadi, for instance, collects straw hats. And Mari engages in Japanese free dance. It's always good to have a hobby. Would you like a shovel? Looks like they're not getting a shovel. Straw? Would you like my straw? Is that a special type for Siamese twins? How would I recognize one of those? By the USB port and the digital access pressure display. Or simply by the two mouthpieces. I'm afraid it's an ordinary one-man straw. In that case, you can keep it. Fair enough. What about this signature? I can forge the barkeeper's signature. I don't blame you. How do you for and my same as telling them about the other signature. Would you like this ripped off receiver? Not interested. We already have a poor connection with the outside world. That doesn't surprise me, considering the fact that you're locked up in here. Would you like some potato chips? No. It's a bad habit to eat chips in bed. You get crumbs all over the bed sheet. And if you get crumbs on the sheet, they'll take it to the laundry quicker than you can say. Unchlorinated bleach. The laundry is in the basement. Where they take weeks to clean it. Did you say weeks? Yes, I did. This one here is the last clean sheet until the beginning of winter. Did you see a line that Edna said that wasn't accurate to what was said in the text? Subtle things. Would you like a cocktail glass? Would you like this cocktail glass? Was there a stinky drink in there? If I were you, I'd be careful with that. There was an amendment to the toxic waste legislation recently. It deals exclusively with these stinky drink glasses. Does it ban them? If so, we're holding contraband! Hey. Hey. Have we lost our... No, no, we haven't lost our toenail. We still have it. How do you get to this floor without the laundry lift? We don't. We rappelled down here this morning before breakfast. We hid behind the toilet tank while brushing our teeth. The new guard is pretty clueless about the patients. That he is. And finally, let's try using the pinking shears. Stop fidgeting for a moment. I have an idea. You're free! Wow! What's going on? What have you done? Are you a surgeon or something? That we are. And when we come back, folks, we have Hottie and Motty that we can talk to individually. Perhaps we'll get different dialogue for doing so. But we freed them from their jumper using the picking shears. They found a purpose at last. And so, when we come back, folks, talking to them, and then getting on with step one of the Keymaster's plan. Getting back to the main part of the asylum. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>